dear brothers and sisters, distinguished guests, esteemed panelists, a pleasant afternoon to everyone here. I'm delighted to be the moderator of this engaging panel discussion on the use of tech tools, innovative technologies, and robotics in modern K-12 education. As we dwell into the enchanting possibilities that technology offers in shaping the future of education, I eagerly look forward to the invaluable insights and perspectives of our esteemed panelists. Technology can become the wings that will allow the educational world to fly far and faster than ever before if we allow it. In today's digital age, the integration of technology in education has become more prevalent than ever before. This discussion aims to explore the current state of technology integration in K-12 education, its impact on student learning outcomes and the role of innovative technologies and robotics in enchanting students' engagement and crucial thinking skills. We have a panel of esteemed experts who will provide valuable insights of these topics. Without further ado, moving forward, we have Manasa Tangapillai, trustee and principal of Shine Vailangani, Senior Secondary School Chennai. Ma'am, we are eager to hear your perspective on the pros and cons of tech tools, the need of the induction of robotics in the curriculum, and the potential application of generative AI in the teaching learning process. Thank you, Mr. Sarvan. That is quite a lot to share. Yes. Personally, I love the versatility and the practicality of all the tech tools that are present, not only here, but what we use every day at home and at school. Because one thing is, it gives all the teacher community and the rest of the learner community immense opportunity to learn something new, sometimes everything innovative, and all of them are task dependable. Now, what happens when we become overly dependent? Then overly reliant on them. Then comes in laziness, lethargy, and procrastination. For instance, if I were to take off Mr. Sarvanan's phone or any electronic gadget and I keep it with me and then I tell him I'll give it back to you during the closing ceremony of Eldrock, he'll stop focusing on Eldrock completely. All his focus will be what messages he has missed, what text he has missed, what mail he has missed. And that's exactly what the learner community is also going through. It's just like substance abuse. You crave for it. It's an addiction. Hence, strike a balance to adapt. And I keep saying this, strike a balance to adapt. When I was introduced to uh, robotics, or rather when we were introduced to robotics 25 years ago, they told us that robotics is basically meant to make life simpler, particularly for individuals who cannot lead normal lives. So immediately the first thing that would strike all of us is disabled individuals. But now we find them in every industry, uh, automobile industry, space stations, uh, nuclear reactors. If I were to take the automobile industry because I love cars and I love to drive them at high speeds, you have the robotic arm reaching out to a point where they weld with precision and accuracy on repeat mode infinite number of times. Any number of vehicles you send in, it is the same precision, the same accuracy. Now, what are we doing with robotics inside our school campuses? One thing is we want to delight our parents, we want to surprise our parents constantly because they want to be surprised and they want to be delighted constantly on repeat mode. And then we have innumerable <coughs> retailers delighting us and surprising us constantly on repeat mode through our inboxes first thing in the morning. <laughs> I'm sorry but that is the truth. But we are taking it up. And then we have NEP 2020 and NCF constantly reminding us about skill based learning and art integrated learning. So what are we doing as educators? Let's start with Taekwondo in the morning and end it with robotics in the evening. 
That's what we're doing. Why can't we first get our logo right, our scratch right? Logo programming and the scratch programming in the primary department. So you get the x axis, the y axis right, which is the basis for robotics. Then get your Python, C, and C right through your high school. So you get your x, y, and your z axis in place. If not, the rotational axis, which is actually your robotics. And then you permeate robotics through the system into your school. That would be a better strategy to permeate the thought of robotics because you will have a bunch of learners with that innate ability and the uh, capacity and the aptitude to pick up engineering and mechanics and later on have that flair for robotics. When it comes to generative AI, which is my favorite, thanks to chat GPT. Generative artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence subset machine learning, subset deep learning. Deep neural networks give rise to ChatGPT and Leonardo. The ChatGPT actually was brought in for high school st students, believe it or not, to have a smooth transition from school to college. Graders, 9, 10, 11, 12, they're constantly working on their grades because they need to show consistency for admissions into colleges. Then they need to take up internships, be it intellectual internships, research projects, social projects, again. There they need to solve complex problems and come up with valid solutions. They can't wait for their teacher or their research uh, guide to get back to them every time a complex problem arises. So what happens? They resort to chat GPT. Now chat GPT is basically for text. You give a prompt and it gives out an answer. If your prompt is not right, you give the second prompt, the third prompt. We need to explore. It is a fantastic learning tool, a fantastic searching tool. We need to teach them how to give that prompt to bring out that answer. The one thing that you would ask me is plagiarism. You don't need chat GPT alone for plagiarism. You can do it with any tool. So, to conclude, all of us are at the beginning of a journey to understand power, the reach and the capabilities of these tech tools. We are nowhere close to assessing the impact of these tech tools. Hence, strike a balance to adapt. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for your enlightening presentation.